You, you want a good, you want a good start for the jersey? It's a little quote right here in the middle. Cycling, uh, ever since, ever since three years ago, cycling has been a, well, it's been a bit of an addiction of mine. Yeah, this is my tan line. That's all I ever think about, but this one's, this, this bike ride is really taking a toll on me, so I think I'm going to take a bit of a break after this one. I'm Chris Gregg, I'm from uh, Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Uh, I'm a lone cyclist on the Campaign for Good News. All right, recording. Hello, uh, welcome to day 13 of the Campaign for Good News. Day 18 of the Campaign for Good News. Go uh, hello. To day 24 of the Campaign for Good News. Thanks, Coach Rachel. Well, it started out in Alaska and it was um, very hilly. My knees took a bit of a toll there and they got a, a bit sore, but they actually got better. And uh, I decided each night of my trip I would uh, do some sort of good news story from the place I'm staying in. I'm at uh, a place called Leila's Hair Museum. I'm in Beaver Creek, uh, the Yukon. Hi. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So, anything that's positive, interesting, funny. I have uh, the hair of many famous people here in the museum. Yeah. One of my favorite, yeah. uh, Mrs. Chase okay. or Mr. Chase. Okay. And uh, now I'm in Birmingham on day 30. Please say you're flying. Right when I graduated from university, I came up with the idea of biking across Canada. And when I went on that trip, everyone was just so nice to me, you know, everyone's friendly. And so that actually played into the fact that I came up with this idea for the Campaign for Good News. And uh, it was kind of a weird idea when I told people originally, you know, I didn't always get the best response, you know, camping for good news, I'm going to do a good news story in each town. It was kind of silly, but the purpose of the trip is, I guess, really to sort of remind people of all the positive things going on in the world. Oh, wow. Can we sign here? Sure. But even more generally, it's really just to try to kind of inspire people to get out there and make a difference in their own way, in some creative way. Like, I kind of came up with this crazy idea for a bike ride. It's really taken off. I'm getting thousands of people on my website every day and, and people can go to it and say, look at this crazy Canadian that you know, rode a bicycle from Alaska to Florida and he did these good news stories in each town, you know, and then people can kind of, maybe they can ask themselves, oh, okay, if he can do that, what can I do in my community to try to make a difference? So that's what I'm hoping for. You just have to commit to doing it. I just ride a bike for 10 hours a day. It's tough. It's basically a grind from start to finish, but there's just a certain reward I get out of, you know, finishing it. I mean, it's really kind of given me some serious proof that right from Alaska to Florida, there are a whole lot of nice people out there. But um, I'm just really proud that I've stuck with it, really, to be honest with you. It's going to be a real achievement for me. That's really what I'm going to take away from it.